Okay guys, hello. So, um, very up close and personal straight away. Uh, most of you will know that this is the um, Sicarius model. So this is actually a fine cast one. And it was a gorgeous casting. Very few issues. <coughs> but, um, he's in Mark, I think it's Mark Three armour actually. Um, which is iron armour. So I thought I'll give him an iron armour head. And there's a new character, well not a new character, he's a character from Age of Darkness called Ventanus. And um, Ventanus is known by Gilliman as the Troublesome Fourth. Because the way Ventanus does things is a little bit different. He doesn't quite follow the uh, rules and guidelines of the Ultramarines Legion. He does things his own way if things start to go wrong. And he knows how to deal with situations like that. So Vantanus managed to win a war against the Eldar, who I happen to be playing next in the campaign, um, by using guerrilla warfare tactics. And I think that's quite nice. It's a bit different. Um, he's not in Terminator armour, he's in Artificer armour, um, which gives me an excuse to paint up some really, really nicely designed armour. I really like the Sicarius model anyway, so I've just converted him and made him a bit more pre-heresy. Really like that backpack. And yeah, it's just quite nice. My arm's starting to hurt holding this camera up though. Um, yeah, so in the rules pack, uh, Ventanus, or the Troublesome Fourth, uh, has a bolt gun, not a plasma pistol. Um, as you can see, that's quite clearly not a bolt gun. Um, I started putting this guy together before Brian had even written the rules for him. Um, so yeah, he's ended up with a plasma pistol, but I don't mind, it's fine. Most of my friends are okay, um, so it should be good, it should be fine. But yeah, the cloak was great fun to paint and highlight. Um, that's going through Mechrite Red, Devil and Mudwash, back up to Mechrite Red, through up to uh, Blood Red with successive highlights, and then a final highlight of Miniature Paint, Scarlet, which is also quite similar to Games Workshop Hobgoblin Orange which I reckon would be quite hard to get hold of, but I'm sure P3 probably have, Formula P3, so Privateer Press Paints, probably have an alternative. Those of you in the States or Canada, Canada, might have uh, Reaper Master Series paints that will be similar, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's just quite a cool colour to finish a highlight with. Um, for those of you in the UK, just, if you're just using Games Workshop, just a bit of Blazing Orange in with your Blood Red will get you that. Okay, um, gold is normal, you all know that through my videos. Um, this is the first Space Marine that I've actually highlighted for my army because I've had the time to, and I think I need to go back and re highlight stuff. I mean, if you look at his chest, it just makes it pop more, and like his knee pad and stuff like that. You might notice the little four there that's painted on um, to represent Fourth Grand Company. Uh, the shoulder pad is taken from an idea from White Dwarf 119, which has got a Space Marine uh, painting guide in it that originally came with the Space Marine paint set um, from sort of 1989, 1990. And it was that all captains from the Ultramarines should have a quartered shoulder pad. Um, they should have a star on this side and then nothing in the blue side. So I haven't done the star, I just didn't, I think it would be a little bit too much. Um, and plus it doesn't it doesn't come up in any of the heresy um, artwork or anything so I thought I'd leave that off but yeah great fun to paint great great fun awesome model um, I'm quite pleased with the power sword as well like the actual power cell um, I really enjoy painting gems and stuff so that was great fun I'm quite pleased with the highlights of this one, so um, I really took my time. This one's taken me two days to do, um, just sort of very carefully highlighted and stuff, thinking very methodically. So yeah, um, please just leave us some comments, tell me what you think. Um, if there's anything you think I could do better, that'd be great. Um, if there's anything you like, go for it, just give us a shout if there's anything you want to nick. Again, go for it it's all good I like people stealing ideas um, but yeah after this I think 
if I'm not painting some flintlock, flintlock models, because I've realised I haven't actually painted very much that I sculpted and had cast, and I'd quite like to, um, then I'll probably be working on a uh, Mark 1C Rhino from Forge World to stick this guy in. And also, I need to make a command squad for him. How do you guys think I should go about it? Should I have more guys in iron armour? Or should I convert up some, say, Sanguinary Guard or something like that? Although I think I've just made my mind up. Um, but yeah, leave us some comments. Keep on subscribing. Thank you to everyone that subscribed. Um, Black Legion Brass Guard doesn't know this, but I'm keeping a bit of a tally. So, at the moment, we're both on 133, which is all good. So, yeah. Um, game's coming soon. I'm playing the Eldar. Um, I've got to work out with Elimixer and a friend of mine called Alan, who you might be seeing very soon. Um, I've gone back to my original camera as well. So, that's all good. Okay, see you in a bit, guys. Bye-bye.